Okay, everyone. Well, this is just you and me hanging out, real simple. I want to bring you up to speed with everything I have on deck for 2024. A little late in coming, should be a New Year's message, but I don't care. I've been so busy and it's been great. Uh, let me, I don't want to make the majority of you wait because you always want to know about Survivor Man. It's a constant barrage of, you know, when are you going to do some more Survivor Man? And the way it works is this way. You get me to a million subs on the YouTube channel, on this channel, and I'll bring you some more Survivor Man. There'll be a big surprise, huge. And, and it's, it's rare for me to, to overestimate or over-exaggerate something if I can't deliver. So just trust me when I say within the, the concept of me doing a new Survivor Man, after you get me to a million subs, there's going to be a very big surprise when I do it. Something I think just kind of thrill you guys. So there, for the Survivor Man fans, there you go. Hang in there. Same thing now, and some of you are going to go, oh, don't talk about Bigfoot. All right, but just the same. So this is just for the Bigfoot fans. So for Survivor Man Bigfoot, what I can tell you is, because again, I get a barrage of people asking me to do more Survivor Man Bigfoot. What I can tell you is that I'm, I've been working on it. I've been pitching networks. I've got some incredible pitches out there. Uh, but the networks are saturated, it seems, with that content. And of course, you know, if you ask me, they're saturated with a lot of crap because it's reality show crap. It's staged and set up nonsense. And nobody's, I mean, that's why, and I know this is some braggadocio, but that's why the Survivor Man Bigfoot series remains as the bar, the standard when it comes to uh, documentary series on the subject matter. Uh, not since um, Doug Hycheck's series. Um, mm, I forget the name of it now. Darn it. Sorry, Doug. Um, someone will know it and they'll put it. They'll post it down below. But his series was terrific. And then and then mine came along after that fact. New methodologies, new technology. But nothing since then. A lot of the stuff I see, it's just garbage. Bottom line is, I am working with a number of people to potentially bring a whole new Survivor Man Bigfoot outflow of content for you. So stand by for that. I'm in the meeting phase. We'll see if it happens, but I'd like it to. And maybe there'll be some ways that you can help me make it happen. Of course, Wild Harvest, guys, season three is coming out. Uh, you'll be able to see it in the United States on PBS stations. We got a 90.6 yes answer back from the stations. Uh, with f with PBS for airing season three of Wild Harvest and my my publicist for PBS said it's the biggest she's ever seen so we're thrilled and thrilled to bring you this new seat check this out go ahead just check this out nice job this perhaps is the most incredible kitchen scenario I've ever had. This is going to be delicious. When you start getting involved in local foraging and bringing the ingredients home and playing with them in the kitchen, can you create a dish where the domestic ingredients don't overshadow the wild ingredients? Chef, meet the plant. I'm bringing you right to where this fireweed and the horsetail and whatever else we find right to where it lives. Its life cycle is carried out here every single day of the year and you have the opportunity to meet it at its home. Oh, go on. It's a lot of fun. It's like being a kid again. No matter where you live, right outside your door is a prolific and abundant wild harvest just waiting for you to enjoy it. Look at all these different colors. Come to mama. I've never worked with lionfish before, and I know you have, so I'm hoping that I can learn a few things from you. Woohoo! Beautiful little rainbow. Dinner. I have to eat some along the way. It's gonna taste so good. When you're making something with a wild edible, you're nailing it and not losing the wild flavor. Sometimes it is about the ingredients. Pretty cool. It's, it's, it's great. We were all over the place. Chef Paul and I had a blast making that series. And so season three coming at you. And if I have my way, I'll do that for another 10 years. I'll just keep those seasons rolling because I love making Wild Harvest. So there we go. There's the three big ones for a lot of people, a lot of fans. Survivor Man, yeah, we can make it happen. Survivor Man Bigfoot, Yep, 
if I can make it happen. Wild Harvest, you betcha, more coming on their way. And by the way, I launched a ton of my content up in Canada on the Weather Network. It's funny because, you know, people are like, well, why would you be on the, on the Weather Network? That seems like, think about it, guys. The Weather Network is everywhere. It's in barbershops, it's in bus stations, it's in jeans stores, it's all over the place. I've got people calling me all the time now going, hey man, I just saw you on the Weather Network. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Ah. He's trying not to throw up right now. That's the nature of shooting a Survivor Man show. I got two really good relationships going on the networks. The Weather Network and PBS in the United States. So thrilled and honored to be involved with both those networks. And uh, they're both actually outflowing a lot of my content. Uh, and I have new content coming as well. Entirely new, separate, and different uh, that, uh, well, you'll know about, but not for quite a while, maybe a, a year from now. Hey, I'm just quickly interrupting myself because there's yet another announcement I need to make sure I squeeze in here. Surviving Life with Les Stroud, the podcast. Yep, season three of that podcast will be coming at you very soon as well. I'm recording them right now. Now, taking a whole new tact with it, I think, uh, tact or tack? I think it's tack. Yeah. It's just like uh, navigating. Taking a whole new tack with it. Going off in a new direction. And uh, I'm excited about it. Uh, it's going to be a little more personal. Uh, and, uh, well, watch for that. Surviving Life with Les Stroud, the podcast, also coming soon in 2024. And remember, guys, all of my stuff is right here on this network. Just click on the playlists, all my Survivor Man, all my Survivor Man Bigfoot, Beyond Survival, Wild Harvest shows, they're all here. But again, uh, when you watch them on television, like say the Weather Network up in Canada, you get a different technological look at it. It's a cleaner, crisper look on your TV screen uh, than if you're watching it through the uh, online such as YouTube. Okay, so that's my film work. Now... The big news and the big thing for me, and the reason really for this, this message, even right now, is my music. Now, if you don't care about my music, you just want Survivor Man, fine. See you later. You can, you can turn this off right now. If you don't care about my music, you only want Bigfoot, fine. You can turn this off right now. But listen, guys, I've been writing music, music since I was 14 years old. I've got, I think, seven albums out right now. I have three brand new albums coming out this year. Sorry, two brand new albums and the re-release 12 years in the making of Mother Earth on double vinyl. Uh, this album is absolutely beautiful, by the way. Uh, and uh, Jetta Minus, who is an artist in uh, Lithuania, did this design for me. And it's just absolutely gorgeous, as you can see. Uh, the sound is incredible. Remixed, remastered by none other than Mike Klink. Uh, and, uh, well, remixed by Mike Klink, remastered by Andrew Mendelsohn in, in, at uh, uh, George, Georgia Mastering in Nashville, just, just a wizard. Uh, I'm so thrilled and so honored and so proud of this package. This is, yes, of course I do my, my roots acoustic folk stuff, but this is bigger. It's, it's rock, it's progressive rock, it's kind of epic sort of sounding stuff. And I'm re-releasing one song, starting with the re-release of the Mother Earth album, and there's bonus tracks coming, by the way. February 16th, 2024, one song every six weeks. I'll, re I'll release a song, say on February 16th, we're going to start with Arctic Mistress. You're going to, finally, I'm giving you back the Arctic Mistress video, which is absolutely stunning. I wanted to know if there was a reason to love a place so pure. And then for five weeks following will be a whole other versions of Arctic Mistress, live in concert, um, uh, personal performances by me just in my living room, collaborations with other artists. And then after that's done, on to the next song, Ancient's Call, powerful video. The whole earth bleeds, people cry, but 
The earth can heal. So can I. Six weeks of Angel's Call. Next song, One Giant Farm. Intense video and supported by none other than Guitar Hero Slash himself, who plays the solo on One Giant Farm. Yeah, tell me where now is my home, my wilderness home. Turning every place we know into one giant farm. These songs right now are all available. Everything's available on Spotify right now, except for the two brand new albums, but I'm going to be re-releasing these songs with the new mix and the new mastering also onto Spotify. So this musical, I'm not even going to call it a musical endeavor because it's time, man. I have no grand illusions about this. I know who I am, but who I am is also a musician and an artist, and I've been writing and recording, you know, since the year 1998 as far as truly recording. And I love it. I, I love bringing music to you. A lot of my lyrical content speaks of nature and connection to nature, but then there's also the personal side as well. So the two brand new albums, the first one up is a more soulful, acoustic, personal album that I, I was produced by none other than Colin Linden in Nashville. And the second one after that will be yet another, my third now, album with the legendary Mike Clink. And we're still doing the overdubs for that. And it features some in insanely talented musicians on, on all of these albums. Uh, Slash, Steve Vai is on the Mother Earth album playing on the title track. Mindy Bear playing saxophone. Um, she's an amazing saxophone. She played with Aerosmith, for example. And, um, and on the albums that follow, the McCreary sisters down in Nashville singing on, on the uh, album with Colin Linden. Bruce Coburn plays a, a solo on one of the songs for me. Uh, I've had such a wonderful chance and uh, opportunity to work with Bruce on a number of occasions now. And I probably will be performing live with him again soon. Uh, so will I, you know, give up on and not give you more Survivor Man's survival stuff? No. But that's not what I'm, that's not the only thing I'm about and never has been. Uh, so I'll keep bringing what I can f to you for that, and that will include, by the way, on this YouTube channel, more director's commentaries. In fact, I'm going to shoot one right after this. So I've got a lot more to go. I want to do the whole Survivor Man Bigfoot series in the behind-the-scenes director's commentaries. Those of you who've seen them, you know how fun they are. Pour a glass of wine, a bottle of, be a bottle of beer, coffee, tea. I sit down with you, and we watch through the show. It's not just my voice in the background. If you have never seen a director's commentary, check it out right here on this YouTube channel. So lots more of that. But musically speaking, I am, I am just going to make sure that I die having fulfilled my dreams and wishes as an artist, as a recording artist, a musician, a singer, songwriter. Uh, and this is going to lead to obviously more live performances. Right now there's only a scant few. April 6th in Whitby, Ontario. Uh, there's only a few seats left, so you want to get on that one quick. And now we've, I've just announced, I will be announcing June 13th at the Red Lily Vineyards uh, uh, down in Jacksonville, Oregon. Uh, and so far that's it. There's one other really big show coming up, but until I get it booked, I, I don't want to mention it because it's going to be a doozy. So this recorded music of mine is coming at you and I hope to keep you entertained. You know, I don't, I'm not after and I'm not caring or worried about trying to get masses to listen to my music, but if one of you, just one of you out there is touched and moved by just one of my songs, Mission accomplished. So there you have it. It's a little sneak of what is to come. For those of you who remember the videos when I had them up, you know they were intense and powerful. Uh, and I look forward to bringing you that. Now, the last thing I was going to say to you uh, is simply about my stuff. Don't forget. So right now, you can, you can start to get your orders in now for the double vinyl album Mother Earth. The sound is amazing. I put it on. I've already got it mastered for online and CD. I put this on. It blew my mind. I thought I was listening to a completely different uh, album altogether. So, uh, gorgeous artwork, including inside on the sleeves as well. So, 
check that out. And the, other, the only other bit of merch I'm gonna hawk at you, at you is to remember that my Wild Outside book for children, ages seven to 12, has won four national awards. And I'm now kind of outlining my follow-up for this. It's a gorgeous um, uh, storybook of all my adventures around the world. And I, I write them to your kids, for your kids, lessons I learned, and then what they can do in the out of doors, how they can get out there, things they can do. It's illustrated by Andrew P. Barr, beautiful photographs by Laura Bombier. As you guys might know, she photographed all of the Survivor Man. So don't forget that. And that's all I'll say about my merch because I'm so bad at hawking my own stuff. I wish I was much better and I'd make some more cash while doing it. Listen, guys, mostly I'm excited about the music side of this. And I'm glad you've been with me on this journey. Do you realize that this journey started up in Canada in 2001? Doing this music is the closest thing to my heart because this music is always about nature, almost always and connecting to nature. And you know that's what Survivor Man was about. Survivor Man was just a facilitation uh, for getting you out in nature. Same thing for Beyond Survival, getting closer to the spiritual side. Bigfoot, exploration and adventure. And Wild Harvest, foraging. I mean, so my music, it follows suit. But then I also do other lyrical content meant to touch your soul in other ways. So get ready for that. Two brand new albums, plus the re-release of the Mother Earth vinyl and uh, and some live gigs and all the rest so oh what's going on here oh it's Adobe doing its thing again all right I guess I can oh, I'll get rid of that later all right guys gonna be a big year 2024 and I hope to see you throughout it take care